Hello. We're going to be using Venn diagrams to calculate probabilities, as shown in the syllabus. These are the formulas given in the formula booklet on page 9. A Venn diagram represents a sample space in a rectangle. Each event is represented by an oval inside the rectangle. A Venn diagram can either show outcomes or the number of outcomes. In the example below, a dice is rolled and event A is getting an odd number. And you can see the odd numbers inside oval A and event B is getting a number less than 5 and you can see the numbers less than 5 inside oval B. And diagram to the right which shows the number of outcomes you can see oval A okay, has got three outcomes in total that was the 1, 3 and the 5 and oval B has got four outcomes the numbers less than 5 and you can see there are two outcomes in common. In this question we are asked to represent the data given in a Venn diagram. So let's first decide or find out how much data there is by adding the names of the students. So there are 11 students, so our rectangle should have 11 names in it. Next, decide on the events. Okay, and you can see the first event is uh, studying environmental systems and societies, and another event is studying geography, and the third event is studying Spanish. So we need three ovals in our rectangle. The completed rectangle looks like this. And if we replace the names of the students with the number of students, the Venn diagram will look like this. Now we can use the Venn diagram to calculate the following probabilities. We can see that, that there are six students studying ESS, so the probability is 6 out of 11. And those studying ESS but not Spanish, well there are four of them. So the probability is 4 out of 11. Now the three ovals have no common intersection, so there is no student studying all three subjects, so there's no chance of picking a student to fulfill that criteria. So the probability is 0. And we can see that there are three students who study two subjects. So the probability of a student being picked in the studies two subjects is 3 out of 11. In this question, we are asked to find the probability that a randomly selected student studies neither geography nor biology. And we are told that 18 students study both subjects, so we start by putting 18 in the middle, in the intersection. Then to calculate the number of students that only study biology, we subtract the 18 from 40. 40 biology students. That gives 22 students studying biology. And also if we subtract the 18 from the 32 students that study geography, that leaves us with 14 students studying just geography, as shown in the Venn diagram. Now there are 60 students in the school year, so to find the number of students studying neither geography or biology, we need to subtract the numbers in the Venn diagram so far from 60. So there are six students that study neither geography nor biology. So now our Venn diagram is complete. So to calculate the probability that a randomly selected student studies neither geography nor biology, we use our formula, and that's 6 out of 60 which is equal to 1 tenth or 0 0.1. In this question, we're asked to calculate the number of students who study both history and geography. So we can use algebra to solve this equation and start by putting x in the intersection, which means there will be 16 subtract x students who only study history and 10 subtract x who only study geography. 
and not forgetting the four students that study neither. So next we can write an equation adding all the sections of the Venn diagram and the total has to equal 26. We can solve this equation algebraically given x equals 4 or alternatively you can type the equation into equation solver on your calculator and I'll just show you how to do that. So on your calculator go to your menu equation and delete any equation that's already there and type in the equation you want to solve. 16 by x plus x plus 10 take away x plus 4 equals 26. Enter that, press F6 to solve, and you see the answer is x equals 4. So now we know that the intersection x is equal to 4, we can add the various numbers to the Venn diagram. So x is equal to 4, 16 minus 4 is equal to 12, and 10 minus 4 is equal to 6. So to calculate the probability that um, students selected only studied one subject, so there are 12 students studying just hist history and 6 students studying just geography, that's the 12 here and 6 here, so altogether that's 18 students. So the probability is 18 26 or 9 13. Another way to find the intersection, which avoids writing an equation, and using algebra is to consider the Venn diagram if the two sets were disjoint, i.e. they have nothing in common, or in other words, they don't overlap, as shown in the diagram. Now we know four students study neither, so if we first subtract the four students from our total of 26 students, it leaves us with 22 students that must, sub must study in one, either one or both of these subjects. And if we add together the 16 students studying history and the 10 students studying geography, we see we get 26 students if they're disjoint. However, that's of course not possible because we only have 22 students. So if we subtract the 22 from the 26, we'll see again that there are four students that study both. In this student, a student is randomly selected from the class of students, and we're told that the student does study French. And we're asked to determine the probability that the student also studies Italian. So first, adding the numbers in the Venn diagram, we see that there are 30 students in the class, so the sample space is 30. However, since we know that the student selected studies French, this now reduces the sample space down to just those studying French, i.e. down to 15. So the reduced sample space now looks like this. So to determine the probability that this chosen student also studied Italian, we see that there are eight <coughs> students. So the required probability is eight out of 15. In this question, we're asked to display the given information in the Venn diagram. So as before, start with our Venn diagram and place in 15 in the intersection. And if we subtract the 15 from the 19 and the 15 from the 17, we'll find the number of students that only study physics and only study chemistry. So there are four that only study physics and two that only study chemistry. And finally, if we subtract these four numbers from the 30 students in the class, we'll get the number of students that study neither. And that's equal to 9, as shown. So on to calculating the probabilities. 
in part one, the probability that randomly selected students studies both subjects, well that's 15 out of 30. In part two, at least one of the subjects, so there are four and 15 and two more, so that's 21. So that's equal to 21 out of 30, or 7 tenths. Physics but not chemistry is 4 out of 30. Exactly one subject is 6 out of 30, which is equal to 1 fifth. And studying neither subject is 9 out of 30, which is equal to 3 tenths.